Is going on guys i hope you are all doing well so welcome back to another episode on the channel of modern women complaining about the dating situation that they created now today's episode was made by detective warg guys don't forget to go and support his channel for putting together today's cringe for us to enjoy i'm going to leave it linked in the video description and without further ado let's just jump right in don't forget to leave your thoughts and your comments. Modern women ruin dating, and here's why. Let's get into it. Hookup culture. Women giving their bodies away to men that have not committed to them on any level. They've made relationships transactional. Not being realistic. Now the majority of women want the minority of men. Using tactics of shame and emasculating men to manipulate them in doing what they want them to do. Some men now are choosing to go their own way. Not even trying to date in this modern dating culture. Ain't that a shame? A lot of good men not dating because they don't see value in this modern dating culture. Whenever I see video clips like this, yes, I agree with her, but I also think that she's a chameleon. A lot of the girls who say these things, they just hear these points around the internet, they see that it's getting traction, and then they post it all over TikTok, pretending to actually care about men. Now, she might actually care about men, guys, but, you know, for the most part, whenever I see these videos, I am just incredibly skeptical right off the bat, especially if you look at the woman's dating life. Like, if she's 30 years of age, and she's making these talky point talking points, excuse me, and she doesn't have a boyfriend or a husband or whatever, or she's engaged in the hookup culture that she's complaining about, you might as well just throw away the video. It seems like the conversation around and porn addiction is becoming way more prevalent from what I've seen. That's just what I have observed personally. Maybe you haven't, but I find it interesting because the discussion is always talking about the people that are addicted to porn and it's ruining their relationships and all of this. And usually it is the man that's addicted to But why are we not discussing the fact that OnlyFans is still such a huge movement disguised as female empowerment? It oh, no. It is absolutely very empowering towards women, guys. You know, they can go out there, they can sell pictures of themselves and uh, make their own bread and they don't need no man. I'm not sure what exactly is the problem. You know, guys, this is what a lot of these girls and, you know, not particu in particular this woman per se, but this is what a lot of these women have fought for. Okay, I saw a meme the other day and it was something like, back in the day, women used to cry when their nudes got leaked. Now it's $2.50 on OnlyFans. And that is so incredibly true. Like, you don't get to go, well, we want to be empowered. We want to do all of this crap. And then when you realize that either men walk away from you or they're not interested in relationships or you ruin your ability to have a regular career or whatever, you, you ruin your life because you choose to do this. Don't then turn around and complain and say, oh, well, it's not very empowering. Or don't get to 30 years of age and then go, wait a minute. No men want me. Now I'm going to warn other women. Guys, I've seen so many videos and like posts. It reminds me of um, the, the female dating strategy subreddit, okay? where they'll get on there and they will say things like, man, corn addiction is so bad and, you know, it's it's really, really bad. But th they're not saying this because they care about men. They're not saying this because they're concerned about the effects that it has on men's brains or anything like this or none of that. No nothing to do with caring about men. It's all, women make a terrible decision, okay? Women, like, uh, uh, that affects men, right? Women most affected. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy to me. It's not. Now, I used to be one of the people that would literally say, if you're gonna watch porn, like, support someone's OnlyFans. Like and there it is. Okay, so we were supportive of it, 
that now as we've gotten older, we've changed our mind. Not because you care about men, not because you care about the effects that it has on men's mental health or their brains, it's because you've gotten older. You used to be a supporter of this, but now you have realized, okay? Perhaps it's not good for your relationships. Perhaps it's not good for women. But no, 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 it's a little bit too far for me, guys. I would consider it, you know, an empowering, a fantastic thing, a very liberating thing. And not only have you liberated yourselves of, you know, the workforce but you have also liberated yourselves of men and marriage so have fun with that like get your bag girl take back your sexual energy that was a modern day trojan horse when it comes to female empowerment what a fucking joke and of course all of the men support you of course they're excited they get to see your goods they're stoked now, this could only possibly be a great situation for a small percentage of people because you have to be a very specific type of person for this to not totally f*** you. Wow, it's, it's almost like any man in your life ever could have told you this information. Guys, I swear to you, like, the amount of women that come out and do this thing, these things and then complain about it later on, number one, I don't have any empathy, I don't care. But number two, hell, your uncle, your father, your grandfather, you know, your brother, okay? All these people in your life could have told you that it was a terrible idea, but you didn't want to hear it because you wanted to be strong and empowered, but now we regret it later on. You know, like, guys, I don't have any sympathy. Like, no, continue on your path to empowerment. Bravo. Good on you. But you're not marriage material. It is what it is. The types of comments and messages that you have to be getting, um, this like sexual, spiritual connection that you're making to thousands of people, and the fact that you have to like advertise and hustle in order to get enough people for it to even be worth it. There's no way that this woman is trying to say that making an OnlyFans is somehow difficult in terms of getting financial gain. You have to be very bad at business to not make money from that or just be very bad looking. Like, hell, even if you're a bad looking woman, you can still make a ridiculous amount of money on that platform. If you, guys, this is like hustling, okay, and advertising and being a, a you know, a, a business person where you have to go through adversity. I think of like, you know, like a builder or a plumber, you know, people who actually have legitimate, you know, real difficult services to give. Madam, you can advertise for free. What are you talking about this whole hustle crap? If you can't make money on this platform, like you can't make money on anything. I'm sorry. And then imagine you're not making anything, and so it's not really worth it anymore, but you already put all of that out there, and a lot of people have literally seen your butthole at that point. And it's just a direct contribution to one of the most toxic behaviors and addictions that humans have. Yeah, only toxic and only terrible when you're not benefiting from it. And guys, again, it's not about caring about men. It's not about caring about women. It's about... I no longer benefit from the situation. So we as women, we are victims. You know, guys, I get like, sometimes I get messages from like older women who watch this channel or like older dudes who have been like married for like, I don't know, like 30 years or whatever. And they laugh at these women straight up. Like, it's really funny to me when I have like the older women come in the comments and they're like, yeah, well, I've been married for, you know, 40, 30 years or whatever. And I'm so glad I don't have to deal with this. What exactly are these women? It's really funny when I see these comments. I just find it so ironic that like we're having this discussion of porn is so bad, but then also at the same time, the content creation on OnlyFans is just like, Phew. if you're in that type of environment, I mean, you absolutely have to put so many walls up or you are just going to get. And I just don't think that's really healthy for women. Yeah, look at that. Not healthy for women. Let's not talk about the men at all. Let's not talk about how bad it is for men. It's just that now that I as a woman have been affected, we are victims of the situation. Hilarious men. The people that need to see this are not going to see this because... They don't want it's to? on TikTok instead of Snapchat because oh. Snapchat won't let me talk for as long as I want to fucking talk. But like... 
Also, it's going to be a long one. There's something that I can't stand about hookup culture. And it's not hookup culture itself, okay? I'm a part of hookup culture, okay? I hook up with people because I can and because I like it. Okay, so we don't like the thing that we're actively engaging in. Fantastic. Because I would rather hook up with people than be in a fucking relationship where you're going to tell me you love me within the first week and then you're going to break up with me a few months later. Like, I would much rather deal with some guy that I just see for a couple hours and then leave. Empowering. Than be in a fucking relationship. But here's something that I can't stand about hookup culture. It's guys or people in general being like, let's meet each other now. Let's go hook up now. Let's make plans now. I can't stand that. I have anxiety. I have um, a lot of mental illness. I have um, physical disability. I need time if I, you know, want to, if I don't, if I didn't bathe, if I didn't brush my teeth, if I didn't, you know, get food because I forget to eat. Like okay, so you have to be an adult basically to be with somewhere on time. So guys, this girl's, com what she's really complaining about is the fact that dudes are not really giving a crap about her schedule. They're just bored on like a Friday or, or a Tuesday night or whatever. And they're like, yeah, okay, let's do something. I'll see you in 10 minutes. And the reason why dudes do this is because they don't care about you. Okay, and I don't even say this to be mean, guys. I'm literally trying to explain the situation. I'm not even saying this to make fun of the woman. The reason why dudes say this is because they don't care about you or your schedule. Now, if you want dudes who, to actually care about you, you have to be worth caring about. That's the difficult part. You see, it is not impressive to me, guys, where I can cover like 500 of these videos, okay, where girls will be like, oh, well, look at all these dudes that I have in my DMs or like, look at all the comments and likes I got on Instagram. Cool. You're a girl. It's to be expected. Can you actually keep a man around that you like? That, that's way more impressive to me than the amount of validation that you get online or your ability to go see random dudes. Like, that is infinitely more, you know, difficult for girls to do, especially the end part of that, which is keep around a dude that you like. Because a lot of the guys that these women like, they're not interested in your schedule. They're not interested in talking to you. They don't want to have conversations. Why would they? Then They're not there for conversations. Like, there's so many things that I hate about last-minute plans, and that's so prevalent in hookup culture. Like... When I just texted this guy, like, when are you available? And he was like, right now. You're telling me that you can't tell me any other t time in the week that you're not at work. You yeah, guys, like, why don't men prioritize me or give me more time or work around my schedule or notify me first? And the reason why is because the men don't care to do that. And more and more men care less about doing that. Guys, I saw a video the other day, okay? Where it was like, um, you know, a, a woman who was failing a bench press, okay? I think it was Joker who was talking about this from Better Bachelor. And he was saying something like, you know, men don't want to spot you because they don't want to be in some TikTok video, okay? And Asmongold came along and covered this and he said, well, you know, that's a bit of a stretch. If a dude's in the gym, he's going to help you with bench press. Let me be the first to tell you guys, I w I'm not helping a woman with bench press. I'm not helping her unless she actually asks me to do it. I'm not coming over there. I'm not helping you. I'm not looking at you. Okay, a lot of guys are opting out of things like dating. They're opting out of helping women. They're opting out of the society in general because these things don't benefit men at all. Now, I'm not sure uh, whether Asman was making the point that, you know, as she was failing the rep, it was a stretch to assume that a man wouldn't help her. But guys, like, I'm not out here helping these girls in the gym who are like, you know, obviously need a spot or anything. I'm not out here dating these girls or taking any of these women seriously. Absolutely not. And there are a lot of guys who think the same way and they're saying, listen, no thank you. You can't tell me another time that you're free at all. That is something that I cannot stand about hookup culture. I'm much, don't get me wrong, I much rather would deal with 
hooking up with somebody and not having having to deal with their bullshit. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause it there just because the amount that this woman is cussing. But she's actually lying to herself here. I think that this woman would rather have a relationship. She's just lying to herself and trying to convince herself that she's happy with what she has with uh, just, you know, getting with random dudes. But I don't believe that's actually the truth. Now, let's skip ahead five seconds here and see if she uh, chills out a bit. But the odds of that are basically zero. The toxicity and the jealousy and the, oh, you did this, you did that. Oh, okay, so you don't like being in a relationship with a guy because you like to have your freedom to go out and do things that a man might not want you to do. Here's the thing. If you want to go out there and live your party life, go out and do it. But don't expect commitment from men at the same time. That's the difference. You're welcome to make whatever decision you like, but don't be surprised when those decisions have consequences. Don't be surprised when you treat dating like dirt and men like dirt when men don't want to date anymore. Don't be surprised when you start filming men in gyms and calling them creeps that dudes won't spot you on bench anymore. Don't be surprised that when you make an OF account and you're looking for marriage, dudes aren't going to want to marry you. You did this, you did that. I would much rather deal with that than deal with, you know, um, I would much rather deal with the hookup culture than being in a, in a relationship. But I cannot stand when they're like, I want to hook up right now. Like, dude. Okay, so number one, she's making this video to try and, you know, to try and validate herself and make herself appear more valuable than she actually is. That's number one. Number two, she's lying about this whole situation because I, I would bet that she would actually want to be in a relationship. She just can't get in one. And also the dudes that she want, will get in a relationship with, you know, she doesn't like the fact that she can't do whatever it is that she wants to do while she's in a relationship. You know, so absolutely no sympathy from me. Guys, we're going to be leaving today's episode there. Remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. If you guys would like to share any experiences that you guys have had, or you just want to make a comment on one of the videos, feel free to do so. That is what the comments box is for. And as always, guys, make sure that you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace. Yo, what is going on, guys? Past Taylor here. Just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of today's episode, and also to say a little bit of an announcement. Uh, we are going to be recruiting more members to Fiend Gang, so if this is something that interests you, you want to be a content creator, uh, make sure you check out the link in the video description. It's going to be somewhere near the top. There's one for a creator application, and then also, if you're someone who makes music, if you make beats, um, we're also looking for someone who can make beats for the channel as well. So if either of these interest you, make sure that you check them out. And as always, guys, just again, make sure you take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you in the next one real this time. Peace.